Never Stop Learning, week 227. We're gonna take a quick look at the Color Halftone Live Effect in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so this is a live effect that's been around for a really long time. Hasn't been updated in a while, but now that I'm starting to get a good handle on it, I thought I'd share with you guys how this thing works. All right, so I've got uh, some basic artwork here with the gradient applied to it. You wanna select your artwork, go to the effect menu, scroll down and look for Pixelate. Now you're gonna find Pixelate under the Photoshop effects. That means it's gonna be a pixel-based live effect. All right, so once you find Pixelate, go to Color Halftone, and when you click on that, it's gonna bring up your Color Halftone settings. Now, this is what it looks like by default. There is no preview, so you don't see the halftone being applied to your artwork. But uh, instead of making some changes here, I'm just gonna click OK, so you guys can see the default settings. All right, so this is what the default settings look like, and uh, if you wanna make some edits to this, what you wanna do is go into the Appearance panel, Click on color halftone. Just make sure you have your artwork selected first. All right, so let's take a look at how this guy works. Now, again, there's no preview here, so you don't even see the previous halftone that we had applied here. Over at the top, it says that the maximum radius is set to eight pixels by default. Now, this is where you're gonna determine the largest dot size for your artwork, and it's gonna really depend on the resolution of the document. Next, we have screen angles, and it's gonna be set to degrees. So in here, we have channels one, two, three, and four. All right, so that's the same as looking at this as C, M, Y, and K over here at the bottom. You also have to include R, G, and B right over here. So it has all those channels in there, and the degree part is gonna determine the angle in which your dots are gonna be coming in from your artwork. All right, so I'm gonna leave my max radius set to eight, and for these channels, I'm gonna switch these over to 90, for every single channel, and I'll click OK. All right, now because all of these are coming in at the same angle, all of the dots are right on top of each other and I end up with black dots. Because I set them all to 90 degrees, that's why I end up with this uh, grid of dots here. All right, so now that you get an idea how that works, let me go back into the color halftone and show you these different channels. All right, so right here, instead of 90 degrees, I'm gonna go with 45, click OK. Remember, that was channel one. So in channel one, we're gonna have cyan and red peeking out. All right, I'll go back into the color halftone, switch this over to 90, and channel two, I'm gonna go with 45. I'll click okay to accept that. Now check this out. We have magenta and green peeking out. All right, back in the color halftone, switch this back to 90, bring this guy to 45, click okay. And now we have the last ones over here, so we have yellow and blue. All right, go back into color halftone. I'll leave this guy set to 90. Okay. All right, so now that you know how to apply this and make a couple of changes in here, I wanna show you guys uh, how to work with this in case you need to send this off to a plotter or if you want to have access to the vectors so that you can make uh, changes to the individual dots. All right, so currently this is a pixel-based live effect. That means if I zoom in on this guy, you're gonna see nothing but pixels. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out. While I have my artwork selected, I'm gonna go into the effect menu, look for document raster effect settings. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna make a couple changes in here. For resolution, I'm gonna switch over to 300 PPI. I'm gonna leave this set to transparent and then click okay. All right, notice the dots got a lot smaller. That's because I increased the resolution of this document. So let's go back into the appearance panel, click on color halftone. I'm gonna switch this over to about 40 pixels or so just to increase the size of those dots. All right, now these dots don't look perfect right now, but because we went to 300 DPI, it's gonna help us out. Over here under the object menu, I'm gonna scroll down, find expand appearance, and we've already expanded that live effect, so we no longer have access to that effect. Back over here at the top, now we have access to image trace. When I click on that, it's gonna run the default image trace that you're used to seeing. Now, over here on the top in the left section, you can click on Image Trace Panel. That's gonna bring up the Image Trace Panel for you. Now, if you click on Advanced, it's gonna show you all these different settings. So you wanna come in here, make whatever changes you need to, uh, you know, to make sure your artwork looks great. Down over here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on Ignore White, and then dismiss this panel. Over here at the top, I'm gonna to click on Expand, and now I'm left with nothing but vectors. If I hit Command Y on my keyboard, you guys can see all these anchor points and paths. Now, I'm gonna zoom in on this just so you guys can see all these nice vector halftone dots. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look 
and how to use the color halftone live effect in Adobe Illustrator.